here in case 020436, case of 1975. That was in front of Judge George McMonagall. And uh, there was a finding of guilty at that point. And uh, Mr. Jackson actually was sentenced to uh, death in the penitentiary. Uh, <coughs> and um, the appeals uh, at least uh, took that away from the state. But since then, uh, there's been a motion for a new trial. We had a hearing uh, a few days ago and the motion for a new trial was granted. And uh, uh, Mr. Aladala, from this minute. Matt, do you have to say anything? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Matt from the State of Ohio, to rear what uh, Mr. McGinty uh, said the other day in the State of Ohio. At this time, I make a motion to uh, dismiss the case. All right. The case will be dismissed. Uh, Mr. Jackson, you're going to be free to go. Uh, I may suggest to you that uh, life is filled with uh, small victories, and this is a big one. Uh, know who your friends are, because you're gonna, everybody's going to want a piece of you. And you better trust the people who you know you can trust. So uh, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Extraordinary. I'm very happy. Needless to say, you know, words can't express how I feel right now. I'm just glad to be out, glad to be a free man. What are you going to do? Today? Where are you going to go? Wow. I mean, you know, you sit in prison for so long, you think about this day, but when it actually comes, you don't know what you, well, you just want to do something, you know, besides what you've been doing for 39 years. How excited are you to see Ronnie and Wiley? Well, I really haven't got a chance to meet him yet, see him yet. I saw him briefly in the courtroom. But I'm dying to meet him. I want to embrace him and hug him. Excuse me. Because we've been through a lot together. And we made it. You know, we're here. We made it. Just because you're in prison, you don't have to be a prisoner. You got to be a man, you know. And you got to get yourself together regardless of what the circumstances are. And you got to press forward. You know, you know you're innocent. And you got to keep fighting, you know. You know, you what's your first meal you're going to have? What have you been thinking about? Wow, everybody about asks that. I mean, I don't really, as long as it's not prison food. You, know? <laughs> you walked into the courtroom today, you smiled at some people, you waved at them. Who were they? Uh, family, friends, and I mean, just people I didn't really know. I'm just glad to see people. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm just happy to see people, you know, for real. What are your thoughts about the people who got you here in the first place 39 years ago? the people who said you did it when you didn't? Well, um, I guess a lot of people will want me to hate that person and feel carry animosity towards him, but I don't. You know, people have to remember that. They see him as a grown man today, but 70, in 75, he was a 12-year-old kid. And he was ma manipulated and coerced by the police, you know, and they, they used him. They used him to get us in prison. So. As far as uh, that young man is concerned, I wish him the best. I don't hate him. I don't. I just wish he has a good life. It took a lot of courage to do what he did in that courtroom. You guys didn't see his testimony. You didn't hear his testimony, but it took a lot of courage to do what he did. They tried to break him. They tried to screw him up. But at the end, he always said the same basic thing. They didn't do it. I lied. And that took a lot of courage for him. He'd been carrying a burden around for 39 years like we have. But in the end, he came through, and I'm grateful for that. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah! They don't feel it, I feel it. Right. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! All right. Look, All right, guys. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. We're gonna go left. We go right. Oh, no. Go right. Go. No, I walked in this morning.